Climate change is literally one of the most uh, you know, significant challenges that human civilization has, to, has had to confront. And we can't just bury our heads in the sands. Um, the decisions that we are making to now about our emissions, our carbon emissions, are going to impact future generations, uh, the world that we leave our children and grandchildren. And I believe there's an ethical uh, responsibility not to leave future generations a degraded planet. I think we all hope that emission reductions will be achieved, but the uh, lack of success of current attempts at international agreements encourages pessimism. And I honestly would bet, sad though it is, that the annual CO2 emissions are going to rise year by year for at least the next 20 years, and that will build up a cumulative level close to 500 parts per million by then. Well. I think that the concept of adapting to the climate change is really a dangerous one because there is the potential for climate effects which humanity practically cannot adapt to. If the ice sheets become unstable and sea level goes up multimeters and eventually tens of meters, well, you're going to put all of the cities on coasts all around the world underwater and you will destroy all of that heritage. So we don't want that to happen. That's, the economic consequences of that are so enormous. It, it makes no sense to talk about adaptation to that. And likewise, if we, if we burn all the fossil fuels, then we certainly will cause the methane hydrates eventually to come out and cause several degrees more warming. And it's not clear that civilization could survive that extreme climate change. And if in 10, 15, 20, 30 years time, we need geoengineering. Well, how about we get the infrastructure set up first? If next year you need a fire engine to put out a fire in your house, is that the time to start designing the fire engine? So uh, the way I like to look at a lot of these so-called geoengineering schemes is from the standpoint that as climate scientists, we're sort of planetary doctors. We're trying to diagnose um, the health of the planet as we continue to change our environment. And one of the principles of, um, you know, in, in medicine, uh, and it's an oath that all doctors take, is to first do no harm. First, above all else, do no harm. And I think that geoengineering potentially uh, violates the sort of uh, planetary Hippo Hipp Hippocratic oath of uh, climate science. I'm certainly not an advocate of climate engineering, but I would like to know what it is that I'm saying no to if I do want to say no to it. And I'd want to know how we balance the short-term need to save lives and protect the vulnerable with the long-term anxieties we naturally have about governance and other effects that go with exploring more aggressive approaches to controlling our environment. Uh, what, is, what is my responsible response, uh, uh, considered response as an engineer? Well, I'm going to start helping to design the fire engine, I'm afraid. <laughs>